Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Right, <clears throat> can I call the meeting to order? Now, I've got you gathered together as a general purposes committee to discuss the arrangements for the visit of this uh, Russian chap to Warmington on Sea. Uh, as town clerk, it's fallen to my lot to find a suitable man to um, coordinate and mastermind our arrangements. Uh, everyone I've spoken to is of the same opinion. There is one man, and he's sitting here, who's outstandingly suitable to get his teeth into this sort of do. And I'm going to ask him, with your approval, I'm sure, to take the chair. <clears throat> Captain George Mannering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look just, uh, just, just a minute. Why should he be chairman? I mean, Russians don't want all that officers and bank managers and all that snobbish rubbish. Well, from the inquiries I've made around the town, it seemed to me that Captain Mannering was the best choice. Yeah, well, I, I don't agree. We want an ordinary bloke. A, a greengrocer or somebody like that. Oh. <laughs> Do we know a greengrocer? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> If there's any dissension, I'll gladly stand down. Oh. The simplest thing would be for you to uh, vacate the chair. Uh, then I'll take the chair and we'll uh, take a vote. Stand by for a quick game of musical chairs. <laughs> right, all those in favour of Captain Mannering taking the chair, raise their hands. Aye. Against? Carry. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Mannering will take the chair, which I shall now vacate. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Mr. Town Clerk, ladies and gentlemen. You said that already. Oh, the fiend. <laughs> We're assembled here to honour the Russian worker, uh, Vladislav... Vl 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, his name is immaterial, really. <laughs> what is important is that he is a hero of the Soviet Union. And that doesn't necessarily, of course, mean that he's brave. <laughs> what it does mean is that he and his team have made 5,723 tanks. It means he's been very busy. Precisely. <laughs> now, amongst other cities, he will be visiting Warmington-on-Sea. And the question is, what form I should the... I'm sorry, but I thought the meeting was at half past. Oh, come in and sit down, Wilson. Right. You know, Mr. Wilson, don't you, my chief clerk and uh, sergeant? I, I'm sure you said it was half past. I said it was quarter past. You don't listen. No, but I checked it, Rick. You listen. Yeah. You've missed the best bit. Did I? Old Rogers tried to give Mannering the elbow. Oh, really? <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. <laughs> now, as I was saying, what form should our welcome to... Good evening. I'm sorry I'm late. Hello. Good evening. I've had one of those days, you see. I had a batch of new sausage skins in, and they're a bit too diaphanous. <laughs> Sit down, please, Mr. Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, the question is, what form uh, should the welcome uh, uh, to Mr. Uh, to, 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 to our Russian visitor take? I, I have been given the matter most careful thought, and I am prepared to offer him a voucher worth ten pounds towards the cost of a funeral. <laughs> Well, he won't do him any good unless he pegs out. <laughs> that is a risk I've got to take. <laughs> well, that's a good start, I'm sure, but uh, what I had in mind was a rather broader aspect of welcome. Uh, uh, Mr Chairman, yes. I'm representing the WVS. Oh, yes. And, well, 
I think we should not try to be all British and reserved. I think we should smile a lot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be very nice. Oh, Captain Manning, uh, speaking personally, I'm not altogether sympathetic with the Reds. Uh, I don't think we ought to go too far. Well, as you know, there was a time when I felt uh, the same way about the Bolshes and the like. But um, I don't think we must be too prejudiced. After all, they can't be all that bad or they wouldn't be on our side. Well, uh, <laughs> why don't we give him the freedom of Warmington? Oh, oh that's a yeah, bad yeah, idea. That's a good idea. idea. He can get into the pictures for nothing. Oh, Frank. <laughs> He's only here for a couple of hours. <laughs> they can put on a Mickey Mouse or a Donald Duck, can't they? <laughs> Will you excuse me a moment? <laughs> Fine. You're not on this committee. You're here as a messenger. You understand? <laughs> only trying to be helpful. <laughs> if I hear another word out of you, I shall make you go into that office and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. <coughs> I think that uh, was a very good suggestion of Sergeant Wilson's. Here, here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, uh, the question is, what form should the freedom take? Uh, how about a parchment scroll tied up with red ribbon? Mm. Uh, they're very nice, they are. Mm -hmm. Your parchment's a bit difficult to get, but uh, I think I know where I can lay my hands on some. <laughs> or oh, a key. Ah, better still. Yes. Yeah, well, cardboard or wood, easy. Brass, bit of a problem. Well, I think we should set for a wooden one. Yeah. Some, uh, some form of ceremony can be arranged and the mayor will say a few short words of welcome and I, as the chairman of the committee, will hand over the key. Oh, blimey, you got yourself in there quick enough, didn't you? All right, all right. <laughs> so, excuse me, so why don't we get the town band to play some Russian music and then I can dress myself up as a Cossack and do cobblers? <laughs> <laughs> do what? Cobblers, so there's a... It's a highly difficult kicking and crouching step, you know. They do a lot of cobblers, do Cossacks, you know, sir. I'll show you the steps, I'll show no, you. No, there's no need to no, please. No, it's all right. It's quite easy. I've done a lot of this. You see, they crouch down like that, sir. And then the music goes, oh, that ball got both of Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I shall have to practice, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, please, Roger, Joe. Thank you very much. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> the Home Guard would uh, would parade, of course. I don't know about the wardens. I don't suppose they'd want to bother. Oh yes, we will. You're not keeping us out of it. Yeah, I dare say Sergeant Wilson will give us a demonstration of acrobatic motorcycle riding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a little joke against Sergeant Wilson. <laughs> we have a motorcycle in the platoon, but so far we haven't been able to persuade him to mount it. <laughs> music! That's what we need, music. The band can play and the choir can sing the red flag. I assure you, my choir is not going to sing the red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I quite agree with you, Vicar. Your blummy, you should have heard what they were singing behind the scouts at last night. <laughs> <laughs> Made your hair stand on and it would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Vicar. <laughs> Hey, listen, can't we get them to la la it? I think that would be rather silly. <laughs> well, one way and another, things seem to be taking shape. <laughs> oh, I, I shall go away now and coordinate all these suggestions, and I'm sure that, as usual, Warmington will rise to the occasion. And bore everybody stiff. Yeah, right. Holy <laughs> <laughs> bloom again, my lovely Russian. Now, uh, sorry, Mr. Livings, war or no war, I cannot allow you to issue a cheque for £32. Well, you've only one and fourpence in your account. <laughs> You'd better come in and see me, I think. Yes. Would you? Th thank you. Thank you. Ask Mr. Wilson to come in, please. He's not come back from lunch yet, Mr. Manry. He's not back from lunch? No. It's twenty past two. Ask him to come and see me. Immediately he arrives. Yes, Mr. Manry. It's, it's the twelve o'clock post, Mr. Manry. Arrived at five past two. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody's playing a joke on Uncle Arthur. Look. The Honourable Arthur Wilson. <laughs> Let me see that. The Honourable Arthur Wilson, private. Does that mean he's not a sergeant anymore? Private letter, you stupid boy. <laughs> he knows perfectly well that I don't approve of private mail coming through the bank. Did I, by any chance, happen to leave my, uh, my bungee in here? Your what? Well, my bungee, you know, that sort of rubbing out thing. 
What? Come in, Wilson, will you? I want to talk to you. I know, I'd left it somewhere. Will you please tell your friends to keep their practical jokes out what? of my bank? Oh, Lord, that wretched solicitor. I, I told him not to, to use the title on my letters. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, it seems to be all over the town now. You were bound to find out sooner or later, I suppose. Wait a minute, I haven't finished talking to you. Oh, haven't you? I'm so sorry, but... Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me that this isn't a joke? No, it certainly isn't. Anything but. And that you really are the Honourable Arthur Wilson? Yes, it's uh, rather silly, isn't it? <laughs> Leave the office, Pike. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you'd care to explain? Yes, what is it? One of my uncles died without leaving any children, so that meant that uh, my side of the family moved up one place, so to speak, and so therefore I am now the Honourable. <laughs> Bless my soul. Yes, well, I, I don't really see why it should make any difference to you and me. You can bet your bottom dollar it won't make any difference to you and me. <laughs> and you even think you can roll in here 20 minutes late after lunch? Where have you been? Well, I went up to the golf club and had a bite to eat up there. The golf club? Yes. Who took you? Well, I'm a member. You're a member since when? Yes, well, you see, when the uh, committee heard about this title thing, they asked me if I would, uh, you know, like to join. <laughs> I've been trying for years to get in there. I believe they're awfully particular. <laughs> you don't even play. Well, no, I shall enjoy the food, though. Do you know they managed to find me some smoked salmon up there today for lunch? Smoked salmon at the golf club? <laughs> Do you know what I had for lunch? No. I had a snook fish cake at the British restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the Honourable Arthur Wilson, eh? You know, being a member of the aristocracy explains quite a lot about your character. Oh, really? Oh, yes. They're an ambling, muddle-headed lot. Oh, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, 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 you mustn't go in the business. Oh, Arthur, is it true? You're honourable? Now, Mavis, please, please. Oh, Frank, just telephone me. I knew you could do it, Arthur. Oh! oh. <laughs> Mavis, Mavis, please, please, please. How dare you use the bank telephone for an improper use? Yes, sorry. Arthur, yes. does it mean that you'll wear one of those uniforms? With velvet knee breeches. Oh, Mavis, now <laughs> don't fuss, please. Oh. Mrs. Pike, will you kindly leave my office? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mannering, but I just had to touch that noble face. <laughs> Arthur? Yes? It won't make any difference, will no, it? No, of course not, Mavis. Now, will you please go home? Now? Go on, both of you. Off you go. Don't make any difference to what? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry about that, sir. Oh, don't apologise. And you're absolutely right. It won't make any difference. No. I'm still the manager and you're the chief clerk. Right, sir. I'm still the officer and you are still the sergeant, right? So put your socks up and get about your business That's at the bank. That's all right, sir. Very well. Thank you. What do you want, Pike? Oh, it's, um, the area manager on the telephone. He's been hanging on quite a while, but I couldn't put him through because you're talking to the Honourable Arthur Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm, so I'm sorry to have sorry to kept you waiting. I was in conference with my chief clerk. Yes, that's right, Wilson. Well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, it's the Honourable Arthur Wilson. <laughs> well, I, I picked my staff very carefully, you know. <laughs> Regular soldier, we had lots of officers who was honourable, you know. At least they was called honourable. They used to stand there in an naughty manner as if they got a smell under their noses. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, they was very good at keeping their stiff upper lips. Do you know, we had a young officer in the Battle of Omdurman, he had his head blown right off, and his <laughs> upper lip was as stiff as cardboard. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit, you know. Still calls me Frank, just like he was an ordinary common person. <laughs> that won't change him. He was a fool before and he's a fool now. <laughs> you know, I used to serve one or two honourables when I was in the Army and Navy stores. They were quite ordinary people, just like any other customer. 
The only difference was you... you couldn't get the money. <laughs> Fall in, Corporal. Right there. Come on. Fall in like the officer said. Oh, good evening, Look, sharp about it. Good evening, Come on. Come on, Pete. Now, permit to speak, sir. Yes? Would you set the small technical discussion, sir? What's that, Jones? Well, sir, are we to call the sergeant the Honourable Sergeant Wilson or Sergeant the Honourable Wilson? <laughs> well, Jeremy, please, I don't want any fuss. I just want to be like an ordinary sergeant. I'm sure that would suit us all, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Manreen, yeah. please may I have the turn with the motorcycle before the ceremony, please, instead of Uncle Sergeant the Honourable Arthur? <laughs> Certainly not. Excuse me, sir. I don't mind giving up my turn if Frank wants it. Prefer a Rolls Royce, would you? No, no, no. <laughs> that motorcycle's for you, and you are going to ride it. Yes, sir. Right. Now, I've been doing a little research into the way the Russians show their appreciation. They don't, it seems, cheer, as we do, but apparently they do applaud. And so I think... That's what we should do. Yeah, yeah, excuse me, uh, Captain Manning, but uh, if we're at the present and we start applauding, there's going to be a lot of blue toes in the platoon. <laughs> <laughs> you hardly need to be told that, Walker. Well, why don't we ground arms, sir? Then we can go on clapping till the cars come home. I was just about to suggest that. Yes, that's right, sir. We haven't grounded arms of late, so can we have a practice? Then we can all get familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Very good idea. But, uh, Hat! Ground! Up! Down, Down to three! Up! <laughs> I'm not stuck! I was waiting for him! Yeah. <laughs> My knees have got all asphyxiated, sir. <laughs> Applause for the Russian visitor. Begin! Football match. <laughs> right. Start again. Applause for the Russian visitor. Begin. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a word with you, Captain Mannering? Yes, certainly. Carry on, Sam Wilson. That's right, sir. Right. Good evening, uh, sir. Hello, how do you do? How awfully nice to see you. <laughs> Go through the whole manoeuvre three or four times. All right, you? sir, right, yes. Now, how can I help you, Mr. Town Clerk? Now, uh, <clears throat> I hope you won't take this amiss, uh, but we feel that um, since Mr. Wilson came into a title, uh, and there aren't any other title people in Warmington, uh, well... We feel that the Honourable Arthur ought to present the key. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I couldn't possibly allow that. Uh, the mayor said he hoped you wouldn't take it the wrong way. You can tell the bear and his corporation that I'm not taking it at all. This interview is now at an end. Oh, I see. Well, if that's the way you feel... I do. Good evening, sir. Damned impertinence. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you've come back, sir. I've altered the drill just a little bit. Now, uh, tell me now, what do you think of this? Russians, welcome. <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough, that's enough. All right, Wilson. When I want you to rewrite the drill book, I'll let you know. <laughs> now, let us get to the part where I present the key. Answer the phone, Pike, please. Yes, Mr. Manning. Captain Manning! Why are you presenting the key? I think the Honourable there should do it. I don't agree. I think Captain Manning does this sort of thing with great dignity. Well, I think it's always a good thing to have a change. Here he is. Well, I look at it this way, sir. Now, although Sergeant Wilson has got three stripes on his honourable arm, you've got three pips on your common shoulder. <laughs> One up to you, you see, sir, because although you're more common than he is, you've got better insignia, sir. And that's the way it should be, because that is the status quo. <laughs> you finished? <laughs> now listen to me, all of you. Uh, excuse me, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can his reverence have an audience with you? Just a minute. J just a minute. What's going on here? Well, it's just that I wondered if the Honourable Arthur would agree to being co-opted onto the parochial church council. And also, will he approve a crest for his own private pew? <laughs> How dare you come in here when I'm in the middle of a parade? It's Manning. Manning, the telephone. Someone from the Civil Defence Authority says it's very urgent. Right. Take over the parade, will you, Corporal? Yes, you come with me. I don't trust you out of my sight. Oh. <laughs> and I'll deal with you later. <laughs> really, uh, awfully nice of you to ask me, but you do understand the position, Wilson. don't you? Yes. It's very rather awkward at the moment, but Wilson. I'll do... Wilson, oh. Wil come, come with me. That's right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. coming. Get out of the way, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Mannering here. Hello. This is Odgers here. Now, listen, Mannering. I represent the Breakaway Committee. Breakaway from what? From you, mate. You think you run this town, don't you? Well, we're not having it anymore. We want the Honourable Arthur to present that key to them Russian. Will you hold on for just a minute? Watson. Sir. Tell this man, once and for all, you are not presenting the key. Oh, aren't I? Tell him! Right, sir. <laughs> but once and for all, apparently I am not presenting the key. Good day, Hodges. You've engineered all this, haven't you? No, no, no. no. Believe me, I, I wish it had never happened. I mean, I, I didn't want to join the golf club, but I'm now getting begging letters, and to cap it all, Mrs Pike wants me to buy a pipe, a tweed hat and a Labrador. Life <laughs> <laughs> just isn't worth living. Don't give me all that soft soap. You're revelling in it. Who wouldn't? If I had a title, I'd be on the board of the directors of the bank. Not manager of some tin pot branch with a crackpot clerk. <laughs> <laughs> and remember Jones's words. What particular words did you have in mind? I've got three of these, and you've got three of those. <laughs> and I'm going to present that key. And do you know what you're going to do? You're going to learn to ride that motorbike. And I'm going to personally supervise it. And I'll tell you when you can smoke. <laughs> Guys around the corner. Here we are. With a full tank, very nearly. Mr. Manring, if he falls off and breaks his leg, can I have it for a bit, please? Oh, dear. <laughs> Why is he taking so long? He's putting on his protective clothing, sir. Try <coughs> <coughs> me, Amy Johnson. <laughs> All right, get him on. Come on, Uncle. All right, right. <coughs> now, you've time for a good hour's spin before you need to get ready for the ceremony. Well, wouldn't ten minutes be enough? Just, just get on with it. There you go. Go on, do another one. Do it again. <laughs> now, remember, Wilsey, you squeeze the clutch with your left hand. Yeah, that's right. Now, you kick up with your right foot onto the gear like that. Right. Now, you rev up with your right hand like that. We're doing this sort of motion. Thrum, 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 thrum. And then you release the clutch with your left hand as if you was unsqueezing the lemon. Sir, do you think I ought to follow on with my school this? <laughs> Time he learned to fend for himself. <laughs> My mum will never let you hear the end of it. <laughs> well, it's not like him not the telephone or something. Is everything ready, Captain Mannering? Oh, yes, of course, yes. Everything will go like clockwork. I hope I didn't offend you by suggesting that the Honourable Arthur Wilson should do the um, handing over. I'm not a vindictive man, Mr Town Clark. But where is Wilson? He hasn't finished his motorcycle training yet. Wilson has his good points, but he's not 100% reliable, you know. Full command of platoon while you're performing the ceremony. That's got to go. Will he be all right? Oh, yes. First class, ma'am. Oh, that looks like the staff car now. 
All right, stand by, everybody. Wait till the car door opens. Nessus, jump! One, two, three, one! Clap and a greeting to the Russian visitor! Come in! Welcome! Mr. Vladislavsky, you and I are comrades in the common struggle, even though we live poles apart. He would have to mention the poles, wouldn't he? <laughs> we welcome you as a brother in arms. We, and we have the honor to just, 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 just a moment. <laughs> it is our honor to present you with this key, which symbolizes the freedom of Warmington on sea. Я представитель рабочих Советского Союза. I represent the workers of the Soviet Union. Here, here. We the justice of this. Ni rabochi. You who are sitting here are not workers. Vaša lice miaki. You have soft faces. Vaša ruki miaki. Vui buržu i srednjava klasa. You are buržua middle class. Damn <laughs> You are giving me honors. Vučevi otnosidis svojim rabočim spočenjem. You should honor your own workers. Šta me je ustvoj? Here I say you. don't understand. We want you to have this key. But... but... <laughs> Čelovjek uniformi, ni oficera, ni imperialista, ti časti vas rama. But a slave worker. I'm so sorry, I'm late, sir. U njebo raboči grije za ruka. He has a dirt of a worker on his hands. Posta u bu. He has got a sweat of a worker on his brow. Slava i mu. He should have your honor. Thank you so much. 